Hello again, everybody. Um, this is John uh, doing another haul video. Um, just a few bits and bobs I've picked up. I've been doing boot fairs again and going around picking up some odds and ends as I've been doing them, selling some odds and ends myself. And uh, just a few things to show you, really. Uh, the first is a get it into shot is a ratchet uh, figure. I mean, I've got them in car mode at the moment, obviously. But I believe it's a rescue version. Um, not sure which line exactly it's from. I'll have to do a little bit more research. But other than a top framework weapon which goes on there, which I might be able to pick up from somewhere, it's uh, pretty sort of complete and in very nice condition. It's not really scratched or damaged at all. So I was really chuffed to pick that up. And not bad for a pound. Um, the next one is Helen the Melon, would be sort of a uh, surprise I've got because I tend to hate Bumblebee generally, but I've got a little tiny uh, original sort of Bumblebee where he was in his first mode in the movies. Um, Legends class I think they are, aren't they? But uh, yeah, it's not a bad little figure. Again, I've sort of got it in car mode, but I know how to transform it. And again, another bumblebee but this one goes with the other one that I showed you before in the other haul video so a battle damaged but in these new Camaro mode um, yeah it's a good figure actually I've, I've transformed it and got it working well working um, transformed as it should be and yeah not bad now actually interesting story to that is I found him in a box and it was only his top half and I thought at first, oh, usual rubbish you find, you know. And I carried on rummaging in the box and found his leg. And I thought, oh, well, you know, one leg's in there, might be the other bit. And I kept rummaging through and found the other one. And they only clip on to a, like a ball joint. So I managed to reattach them straight away. 20p. Now that can't be bad. And it does go with the other one, which I have got here, which is one Helen was complaining about is a worse figure which is that one which is the original Camaro but again this is actually something what I had sent a message to Helen about it, is this is the way I put his legs because she was saying that she has his like feet down like that which makes him like a giant Bigfoot but I swing that up like that and although it's a little bit weird that he's got sort of weird pointy toe bits he actually is a little bit more proportion wise, and get into shot, a little bit more proportion wise with his legs. And also, he stands reasonably well that way, but he doesn't look so ridiculous, so whether that's any help. And the last thing I picked up is actually something I'd seen in the shops. I know Wasp Shop 23's actually got this one, he brought it himself and done a review on it. But I actually picked up in its box. Uh, triple pack with the Rodimus Prime. Well, I suppose it's Rodimus Prime, it just calls him Rodimus on this version. But the triple pack with Rodimus Gold version of Bumblebee and Soundwave, which is one of my favourite characters. And got that for £1.50. So I thought, well, I can't really argue with that, can I? It was even still sealed. It's not. I have opened it and transformed them, but what can you say? Brand new set of triple pack of, like I say, I believe they're the Legends figures for one pound fifty. It's fifty p each. So they're the only ones I've managed to pick up at the minute. I've seen some other odds and ends, damaged stuff. Um, one which I was a little bit sorry to see and I would have picked it up if I could have found the spare part to try and repair it. it was actually a G1 slug slinger he was discoloured but I could have corrected that um, I do actually already own the figure but I could have tidied it up and maybe sold it on to somebody who needs one but he was missing a leg but I hunted through the box that he was in but I couldn't find it so that was a shame it would have been nice to have sort of retrieved it, brought it back to its former glory and maybe sold it on to somebody who really wants one. I wouldn't have asked a lot of money for it, it's not a 
like a big money making scheme but it's a shame to see what was a good toy so I end up in the bin really um, but that's all really at the minute um, hope to see you you know on here again uh, the usual sort of guys um, we've had a couple more subs so that's very nice I can't remember offhand your names but I have sent you a thank you uh, for subbing to me and I'll have some more reviews up soon. Right, thanks very much. I'll see you later.